¿Qué onda? And welcome back to the channel. My name is David. Today, we're doing some street photography with my Canon R6 and my brand new RF 70-200 F4. Not the 2.8. Uh, 28 is too expensive for what I need. And honestly, like, after shooting two debutante balls last week, I kind of don't need the 2.8 uh, for the photography, at least on uh, for the event-style photography that I do because... Uh, most of the time when we're shooting um, something like a debutante ball, we have flash on camera and we usually shoot around 5.6 to 6.3 with like 800 ISO. Um, and I think our shutter is like around 1 over 50 or 160. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, obviously if you're shooting with flash on camera at 2.8, everything's going to be super, super hot. And you want depth of field in a lot of these shots because... Uh, you know, sometimes you're taking photos of groups um, and whatnot. So, like, you want everybody to be more or less in focus, even though, let's say, your focus is on whoever the subject is. Uh, so, let's say the debutante, and you're doing, like, a family portrait. You want everybody that is in that, um, I guess, focus plane uh, to be in focus, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, so um, shooting with the F4 and on the R6, it's like, okay, well, if I do video i could crank the iso on the r6 is only 20 megapixels i'm not i'm not worried about that so and also like this thing is tiny and i could actually use it for street photography which actually felt kind of cool because i could zoom in at 200 millimeters and no one knows i was shooting or not shooting them but like photographing them so yeah kind of cool um i also picked up the rf 35 millimeter 1.8 and the rf 50 millimeter 1.8 and you guys are probably saying like david why do you have two 50 millimeters well a i like shooting 50 millimeter but B, I got rid of all my Fuji stuff, um, and I'll explain that in just a second. Uh, so I picked up a second 50 millimeter because I don't want to walk around with that massive 1.2 um, lens for street photography. So, and the 518 is like essentially a pancake lens. Um, so it's super small, discreet, and it's just as good. Like I'm probably gonna do a video on this um, in a couple days because we have the Rose Parade coming up over in Pasadena. So there's gonna be people uh, camping overnight. And I'm really pumped to photograph that because it's so cool because people will have like full blown like camping equipment with them. They'll have um, sleeping bags and like a mini barbecue. So people are cooking on the street. Um, and then the following day on Colorado Boulevard, which is the main street in Old Pasadena, that's when the floats come through. So, yeah, so I'm going to get that. Um, but the reason I sold my Fuji equipment is because I feel like I... I kind of gotten not necessarily bored of it but like i guess the one thing that i have to fault fuji on it's not the the fact that their cameras are fantastic or anything like that or the film simulations i just can't stand their autofocus their autofocus could be better and i always wanted the more from the camera and i wanted the autofocus to be just as good as the canons and granted yes they're two very different beasts um, but for my style of shooting, and also because I've been using these um, R6s a lot more recently, I decided to just say, you know what, I'm going to jump ship to uh, Canon for street photography. Um, just because I'm the most familiar with these cameras, I know I, I trust the autofocus. I know the results I could get. I'm happy with the results. Um, and so, yeah, so um, I sold all that stuff, plus my RF 100 millimeter that I literally used twice. Um, and I bought uh, the 70 to 200 and the two prime lenses. And I still have like $250 uh, credit uh, at my camera store. So yay. So I might pick up that RF 16 um, 2.8 at some point um, when it's back in stock. But yeah, so that's kind of like where I'm at. And also, um, you know, these the 35 and the 50, they're small enough. They're not going to draw a lot of attention to uh to me or, or and if you know let's say potentially it gets stolen it's like a 400 or 200 dollar lens like that's super easy to replace i mean the body is ex probably the most expensive thing i have on me but i have that uh insured through my business insurance so i'm not too worried and also in pasadena like i mean pasadena is pretty good like they're uh you know crime's pretty low uh it's not like la where everything's kind of everything's on the rise right now which uh which is kind of sad, um, but anywho, but yeah, so that's kind of like where I'm at right now as far as equipment. So 2022, I'm going to try to do more videos with my Canons because 
I, I like I said, I think I mentioned this earlier. I have two Canon R6s and I could totally use one for street photography and then the other one could be for events or paid work or whatever, uh, along with my C70. So, you know, I don't necessarily need to have four cameras um, to, you know, shoot something like street photography or anything like that. And um, yeah, so kind of kind of just happy to get that weight off and just kind of like condense my gear once again um because uh you know like i feel like we always get throughout the year we tend to buy a bunch of stuff that we don't need or like gear that we're like super excited to use and then at like at the fifth hour we're like oh crap actually i'm not really happy with it uh but it's fine um you know it, it is what it is it's a, a lesson learned uh don't jump ship or not necessarily jump ship but like don't go all in on something um until you really have gotten a lot of experience with it. And I'm not necessarily saying like, don't go out and try the camera or, or don't buy Fujifilm. I'm not saying that, uh, you know, my needs are very different than your needs. Um, so say Fuji works for you. It works for you. If uh, Canon works for you, great. If Sony or Nikon work for you, fantastic. Um, you know, uh, cameras to me at the end of the day are a tool and you know, Every tool is different. Every tool will work for certain things and it may not necessarily work for other things. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, that's kind of like where I'm at as far as uh, equipment wise. And as you can see here, these are all the bleachers that people are going to be on on uh, January 1st um, up, up on the, you'll, I think you'll see it right now. You'll see um, the KTLA um, booth where they're going to have the, uh, newscasters kind of like commentate about the rose parade so yeah it's gonna be it's pretty cool i'm really excited that it's happening because obviously it didn't happen last year because of the state of the world and uh you know they're uh they're really really like excited to get this going so uh like i said i'm probably gonna do another video in a couple of days when people start camping out and i'll probably come early so i can try to get some photos of the floats for you guys because i think that's really cool but with that said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, double tap the thumbs down button twice. Trust me, it works. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And just in case I don't make another video in the next few days, Happy New Year. I hope everyone has a safe and um, epic 2022. Uh, you know, things are starting to get a little bit better and you know we're all we're all pushing through it together so um happy new year folks i love you guys stay safe and hasta luego